front of Bella Bushka wearing it down. Coco Van Winkle and Bella Bushka. Bella Bushka goes home better. Bella Bushka. Uh, wasn't that a wa very well-deserved win from Bella Bushka on Sunday? Uh, I love the way that he, um, you know, settled midfield, was able to come to the middle of the track and really let down. Um, sort of previously, he was sort of sitting up on the speed and um, was sort of, you know, a bit sus late, but uh, they had a pretty good opinion of the horse of Hazers and it, um, it sort of hit the front and we were able to sort of get out and chase it down. Chase it down. Um, Jai sort of said he sort of got to it and uh, sort of peaked on his run a bit, but he was able to sort of tough it out in the, in the last 50 and uh, was able to get a good result. Uh, a lot of owners there on Sunday and uh, a lot of good people in that horse. So uh, uh, he was a horse that um, he had a breathing issue, had a throat operations, come back, and uh, I think his form's been really consistent. So... Um, where we go to next, I'll uh, we'll probably stick around the 13, 1400. I don't think there's any reason to rush up in trip with him, but uh, yeah, you know, nice big strong son, son of Taranado. Um, yeah, he's doing a great job. Also at Geelong on Sunday, I thought Cat Noir was really good. Jai just said it was just lost out in front and just sort of didn't know what to do. Um, he sort of said maybe come back in a little bit in trip where we can sort of sit, you know, three, four, five, and uh, and we're the sort of the ones chasing uh, rather than being the ones chased. So uh, it, bear in mind the the horse that did win, they had a proper opinion of, and uh, they're setting it for a derby. So we'll probably be a bit stiff to run into that at Geelong, but uh, we're actually going to target her for that um, future. Season series, Future Stars series at Pakenham, uh, the Maiden series, so uh, she'll go there in about two and a half weeks time as a 1400 metre Maiden for her, so uh, that's a great option for her. Tango Jewel at Mooney Valley, she was brave, wasn't she? She uh, she sort of stuck it out, um, she was in front and uh, only sort of, you know, only got beaten sort of 0.3 of a length for, for first, so uh, yeah, she's ever so consistent, she's brave, she's tough and uh, uh, what she lacks in ability, she certainly makes up for in heart, so um, what we do with her, I'm not sure whether she might be looking for a break, she's had a pretty tough prep, she puts absolutely everything into all her runs, so if she does go for a break, it's it's been a very well deserved one. Uh, pretty lot on for runners this week. Uh, we'll kick off with Tories D on Friday at Werribee, uh, 1,000 metres benchmark 58, so it's a pretty significant drop back in grade, uh, considering last start he was at Mooney Valley in a benchmark 70, 9.55, against probably the this year's uh, best 955 horse, but I thought he went great. He come from off the speed and uh, chased out hard after him. He's always been a horse that's sort of been banged out, but I actually didn't mind the other day um, how how strong he got to the line. Uh, he only got beaten a couple of lengths for um, for second. So uh, freshening him right up. We'll go to the thousand metres at Werribee. Um, he's got a lot of weight, so we've elected to claim with Jordan Weatherly. Uh, she rode a couple of trialers for this the other day, and uh, she's riding in really good form at the moment. I think she rode a double yesterday. So um, just where it gets to from that gate, and you know, you're at Werribee in a thousand metre race, so I'd imagine they'll scoot along. Um, so hopefully she can, she can sort of, you know, land sort of, you know, two, three, four, just on the outside, not too deep. And um, yeah, I think if he can get into a good spot, uh, he'll give this race a real shake because uh, he couldn't be any well or he's absolutely jumping out of his skin. He spends most of his time sort of either on two legs or on four legs jumping around that much. So he's an absolute ball of health and uh, yeah, really keen to take him to the races at Werribee on Friday. Accepted with Boulder County on Saturday at Kyneton, 1100 metre maiden. Uh, we had her accepted the other day at Great Western, but unfortunately she just didn't get a run. I, I reckon if she did, she would have given that race a real shake. But uh, uh, she trolled up really well, um, showed plenty of speed. Uh, had a bit of a hiccup last prep, but uh, disregard that run. Um, she seems to be a lot more tractable this time in and uh, travelling a lot better and um, and cornering a lot better. So um, track work is good. Uh, she, the only thing is she's a bit of a uh, really lightly framed filly, so um, just trying to keep the weight on her um, without her lightening off too much. But I think she's in really good condition um, for her. Um, she's nice and bright and eating well, which is a really good positive for her. Um, she is a bit of a picky eater, but I think at the moment she's she's eating good, she's feeling good, and uh, she's galloping up really well. So um, if she can draw a gate at Cotton on Saturday, um, 
uh, then I think she'll, you know, she should run a good race. Uh, Kitens usually races pretty on speed, and uh, I'd imagine she'll sort of, you know, be in the first half. Um, bear in mind she draws a gate and um, things like that. But uh, yeah, have a look whether um, she gets a run on Saturday. But if she does, um, know that uh, that she'll run well. Yeah, hi guys, um, we're over here in uh, Karaka at the moment at the yearling sales. Um, we've been really lucky to have purchased three horses so far with a couple of horses we're sort of looking at tomorrow. But um, beautiful weather over here, the quality of the horse is outstanding and we think we've probably bought three really nice horses. So um, as we said last week, we're coming over here to try and buy maybe an Oaks filly and a, a Derby colt and we've bought the horses very much online for it like that. So um, one day of the sales to go, hopefully we can pull another um, really nice quality horse there. Um, keep an eye on our website and um, we'll, uh, I'll get Janet to put up all the horses that we've purchased and uh, if anybody wants to get involved, by all means do. G'day guys. Big Jobs is back for 2024. Uh, it's been a long awaited return, but um, I've got some good news. So uh, this week uh, I headed down to uh, Section Rolling in Sunshine and uh, learned how to weld. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do for a long time and obviously working on the farm, it's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that need welding. So. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it'll add another string to my bow. So, uh, yeah, just it, been really excited to do it for a while. So, uh, great to get the opportunity. So, I'm just going to run you through a couple of things I've learnt so far this week. Um, I've used the uh, stick welder. So, I've been using that. Um, as you can see, I've welded two bits of metal together like that. Learnt how to do that. Um, so it's a bit of a start, but, um, yeah, I'm sure over the next few weeks I can, uh, show you what I've done around the property. That's it for another week at MZ Lodge. Thanks for watching. Uh, Jamie's over in New Zealand at the moment. Uh, he spoke about on the video a couple of weeks ago, going over there to Target, trying to buy a couple of Oaks fillies and, and staying colts uh, or Derby colts. And uh, he's already bought a couple. He bought a reliable man filly, a little grey uh, reliable man filly, and a Almanzor colt. That um, Almanzor, he threw the Derby winner in 2022 with Man Joyce and uh, Evan the horse the other day that beat Cat Noir. Um, it looks a real Derby prospect. So he's certainly a type that can throw a derby, so uh, derby winner and uh, if you're interested make sure you jump on the website, they'll become available in the next week and uh, keep your eye out for them and, and anything else that, uh, that he may purchase over there. Um, as for our runners here this week, uh, pretty light on but got Tories D in tomorrow at Werribee, um, I think he's a good chance if he can get a good run in transit, it's a fair bit of drop back in grade so um, if he can sort of get a good run and uh, be hitting the line hardly that'd be good to see um, and then uh, later on in the week I think our runners will ramp up again so uh, make sure you keep an eye on it uh, for what we have accepted but uh, until next week see you later. We'll get into the runners this week, uh, pretty light on. What? No? Learning the art of welding. I could say something like that, you reckon? Yep. Yeah? It's just a bit of an induction. You hear me right? Yeah, you know, the shout. All right.